and down deep you know it of course you know it because that's who you are that's why you don't you say my body you don't say me me hurt me hurt me hurt you say i have a headache my arm hurts i'm hard you know my, i'm heartbroken my heart hurts or my emotions you're referring to an object that the object belongs to you but you're not the object you're that which is aware of it so then why don't we use this information and dive back into the source and kind of weed out what we're not and in that we discover that we are truly free freedom is always here and there is no longer a need to suffer by simply recognizing the vastness of the presence of this moment that you are by recognizing it falling back into it relaxing into it you relax into yourself because in the absence of nervousness fear worry anxiety in the absence of it what's there when you bring your attention on being relaxed can you not be relaxed when you bring your attention it's your natural state of just simply being it's unnatural trying to be something else it's effort it's energy consuming when you're stressing or an anxiety or worry it takes a lot of energy but when you ch you chill out and you fall back into your natural state that doesn't require any energy some people come and say i don't know how to relax i'm so stressed i don't know how to relax i mean it's kind of fashionable to say oh i'm so stressed because it's fashionable but when you're not stressed what are you you ever thought about that when i'm not stressed and i'm not in panic and anxiety then what am i your natural state is presence it's here it's aware but it's not anything it simply is it's not identified with anything it simply is but the moment we start getting identified to this and that and defining ourselves and connecting this i thought to other stuff then you get yourself into trouble Am I making any sense? Does it does it click, you know? I think because we've been together for 9 yet, 9 days and we're building energy and the the minds quieting down for everybody and you know we're tuning in into this and so now if i said this the first day i di i didn't think it would go in it would click but by now there's an openness it's like it's clicking in there's 
not much of a resistance. So it kind of just goes in like, oh, okay, huh. Just know that every time you're in this relaxed, natural state of yourself, and you're not engaged with anything, you are in this awakened place that you always wanted to be. And you have an idea of it, of awakening. But it's really your true nature. That's who you are. And I've said it before. The space is the recognition of a space which is here already. It's not something you're going to gain it. Because if you gain it, you can lose it. You just notice it. You just, your attention goes into this place. And then all of a sudden, you find that everything is very shanti shanti. And you don't occupy yourself with how things should be or shouldn't be. You just surrendered the natural state natural phenomena of surrendering to what is takes place naturally without any effort because it is your true nature it is who you are It takes a lot more effort not to be who you are. That's why it's uncomfortable. That's why you suffer. Because it's this old conditioning of continuously, unconsciously trying to be something you're not. Trying to worry and, and stressing and trying to save the world or trying to force things to be differently than your idea. So then it's uncomfortable naturally and everybody else is doing the same thing. And then you get together with your friends and you're all angry at something. And so it's feeding off of itself and it's very uncomfortable. Where in your natural state, you're sitting on the porch you're watching at the stream, the water's running down, it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. And life is. What do you have to do for that? Because it's the absence of all those other things, then your nat nature's na natural state it reveals itself. It's the absence of the clouds between you and the blue sky. The clouds go away and the sky is always blue. It's not light blue. It's not pink blue. It's just blue. It's always blue. Same blue. Never been a different kind of blue. It's always same blue. Do you see how simple it is? It's really simple. The simplicity of it is beyond the imagination. But the average spiritual seeker will come and say, Oh no, but there is more. There, there, no, there has to be something more. N well, I never found anything more. Maybe somebody finds something more. I don't know. <laughs> 